I'm Kate Rhodes and I live in Seattle, Washington. My father loved sailing and through his wishes, my family moved onto a boat when I was five and a half, six. And we lived on a boat in the Bahamas and Virgin Islands till I was 12. And that childhood spent basically living on the water, being in the water, on top of the water, around the water. My mom ran a dive business, so I would always be underwater when I was young. It shaped my childhood imagination to the extent that so much of my work centers around being within the natural world. So a lot of my forms are very flowing. My sculptures, my woven sculptures, really hail from coral or aquatic things. But I also really appreciate the Northwest's beauty. I've lived here for over 20 years. I love the trees. I love the plants. I, I love the topography of the area. So I have about three to five series of work that I work with. I have my, my woven work. I also have some work where I use industrial glass, which you also have an example, my blue dome downstairs. And then I have my peacock vessels, which when I started out as a glass artist, that was definitely my bread and butter and how I got on the scene per se is sort of the traditional Seattle vessel wear um, that incorporates Italian patterning with Kane and Marini. And I have to say that uh, with glass blowing, I got exposed to people like uh, Pino Sinretto and, and also uh, Lino Tali Pietra when I was young and Dick Marquis as well. And those guys, what I saw them doing, Dick and Lino, whoo, I just wanted to work with Kane and Marini so much. But I would never wanna try to make something exactly like they've made. I always wanna try to keep pushing it towards an expression of something that I love and care about. And after working for years with Kane and Marini, um, I started working in a certain way with the Kane and Marini because glass started becoming incompatible. Colors were incompatible with glass. I had so much breakage. This is a visual sample to show different kinds of Marinis. I use it as a test for compatibility. There are many different kinds of colors, uh, clear glass, and so you have to make sure that the color that you use is happy with the clear glass that it's on. So this week, uh, we've started out with uh, making some cylinders so that I can open them up, water jet cut them into leaf shapes and work on a collaboration with Ethan Stern to make these leaves. And that goes along with this sort of garland series that I have. Then we worked into the peacock vessels. I really revere the team here. They've had over a decade to work together. For a foot size, and they think? are like a well-oiled machine. So I have faith that if I have an idea or a pattern that they can take it through to completion, no problem. As an artist, nature is my inspiration. And I find that I struggle these days because uh, as a people on this earth, we're not doing much to protect the earth and to make sure that nature will continue, which I think is kind of funny because we're part of nature. We don't live above nature. We are nature. And and um, and it's, it's frustrating making work, trying to convey that kind of message. I'm not really good at and making work that will hit people over the head with information and slogans, but all of my work is about, you know, our human interaction with nature and how we're really going to be hurt by nature in the future if we don't treat nature right.